The clerk will please report the amendment. Amendment to the amendment in the nature of a substitute to that HR. objection board. for the reading of the amendment is dispensed with. Mr. Chairman, I reserve a point of order. The gentleman from Florida reserves a point of order. Ms. Sewell is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. John Lewis said that the vote is precious. It's almost sacred. I couldn't agree with him more. When I think about the fundamental right to vote, it is from which all other rights derive. That's why this amendment would make Election Day a legal public holiday. Working Americans deserve to have ample opportunity to vote. Our seniors, the disabled, and the college students deserve to have ample opportunity to vote. This amendment helps to ensure working people have the freedom to vote without taking time off from work by making Election Day a federal public holiday. Many hardworking Americans struggle to find time to make it to the polls on Election Day when between work, childcare, and other responsibilities. Indeed, something as simple as getting stuck in traffic on the way home from work could mean not being able to get to the polls in time. Giving people time off to work, giving people time off work, school, and travel to the polling stations is an important part of making the ballot box accessible to all Americans. Allowing students time off school for Election Day would also allow parents to teach their children about civic responsibility and American democracy by bringing their children to the polls when they go to vote. I agree with John Lewis. The vote is sacred. We should acknowledge that. We as elected officials should be in the business of trying to make it easier for people to vote, not harder for people to vote. So I ask my colleagues to join me in supporting this amendment. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields back. Does any member seek recognition? I recognize myself for five minutes. Um, I appreciate the, 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 the intent, I think, of increasing voter participation. Uh, I support that uh, portion of this. I don't know that this, in fact, fully achieves that. Uh, the cost to create a federal holiday, which really just impacts federal workers and allows federal workers to have an extra day off, and, it, and, and the, the federal employees already get uh, 44 uh, paid federal uh, they remove, remove, strike the number. They get a substantial number of days off already in the federal government. And a federal, uh, just the federal workforce for a day off costs about $818 million. Um, and then the question would become, do people utilize that time to take a vacation or do they utilize it uh, to exer exercise their constitutional uh, right to vote? Um, and so while well-intentioned, I think, to encourage people to vote, um, I'm concerned about not only the, the, the fiscal impact that this would have on our federal government, which is already wildly upside down, uh, but also whether or not I would actually ab achieve the objective for which I believe uh, the gentlewoman sets for it. Uh, and so I will be uh, voting against the amendment. I yield back. Does, is there further debate on the amendment? Seeing none, does the gentlewoman for Florida insist on her point of order? I withdraw the point of order. If not, the question is on the amendment uh, from Ms. Sewell. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those no? No. 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 In the opinion of the chair, the no's have it, and the amendment is not agreed to. A roll call vote is requested. The clerk will please call the roll. Mr. Stile? No. Mr. Stile votes no. Mr. Loudermilk? No. Mr. Loudermilk votes no. Mr. Griffith? Dr. Murphy? Dr. Ver Murphy votes no. Ms. Bice? Mr. Carey? Mr. Carey votes no. Mr. D'Esposito? Mr. D'Esposito votes no. Ms. Lee? No. Ms. Lee votes no. Mr. Morelli? Aye. Mr. Morelli votes aye. Ms. Sewell? Aye. Ms. Sewell votes aye. Mr. Kilmer? Ms. Torres? Mr. Griffith? Ms. Bice? Mr. Kilmer? Ms. Torres? Does any member wish to change their vote? Clerk will report the tally. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, there are two ayes and six noes. The amendment is not agreed to. Do other members seek recognition? Oh, I have an amendment at the desk. I'm still being generous. That may fade later this evening. <laughs> the clerk will distribute the amendment.
있었네. The clerk will report the amendment. Amendment to the amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 4563 offered by Ms. Sewell of Alabama. Insert after Title VI and the following. Title, sense of Congress with respect to dis- Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. I reserve a point of order. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The 15th Amendment to the United States Constitution establishes, quote, the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. The 15th Amendment also created an explicit grant of congressional power, quote, the Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation, end quote. Recently, the Republican vice chair in your home state of Wisconsin, Mr. Chairman, publicly praised Republican efforts in the state to drive down turnout by voters of color in the 2022 election. In a post-election email to the Republican supporters in Milwaukee, the vice chair wrote that Republicans, quote, can be especially proud of the city of Milwaukee casting 37,000 less votes than cast in the 2018 election with the major reduction happening in the overwhelming black and Hispanic areas. He continued, quote, this great and important decrease in Democratic votes was due to, quote, well thought out multifaceted plan, end quote, that included, quote, biting black, biting black radio negative, buying, sorry, buying black radio negative commercials run last, le, less than le, the last few weeks of the election cycle. The vice chair was not, has not resigned. He's still the vice chair of the Wisconsin Republican Party. Uh, the, Republic, the vice chair has not resigned from his position on the Wisconsin Election Commission. No individual, especially one engaged in the administration of American elections, should celebrate disparities in voting, especially by race. No individual can engage in efforts to drive down turnout among voters of color. It is incumbent upon every member of this House to condemn racist rhetoric and attempts to disenfranchise voters of color by election officials. I urge my colleagues to vote in, in favor of this amendment, which is a sense of Congress to acknowledge the abhorrent language used by an elected official in Wisconsin, uh, being proud of the fact that he was, uh, or they were able to decrease the amount of black voters in Wisconsin. Um, I yield back the balance of my time and urge my colleagues to support this amendment. 